Welcome to Film to Screen, where Katie and Astrid and we talk about movies, TV shows, and anything we're currently obsessed with. And today we're talking about, or I should say I, because it was just me. Uh, I'm talking about Megacon and my experience going to my first convention. It was an experience. Uh, you, you've only been to Star, I, I can't say only, um, because I'm jealous, but you've been to Star Wars Celebration. Yeah. Has that, is that the only convention you've been to? No. No. I've been to a music one. A music convention. Was it like K-pop or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I've really surprised. only one for like one artist, to be completely honest. Okay, so you've been to Star Wars Celebration, still jealous about it. Yeah. Uh, I I will be going, to, I'm saying this, I've been saying it this past week, I'm going to Star Wars Celebration in the future. I'm really hoping that the next one, because it hasn't been announced as of this recording, where the next Star Wars Celebration will be, I'm hoping it's Orlando. It would make sense. Yeah. Uh, because this year it was London. Last it was Anaheim. Uh, before that it was Chicago, which is the one you went to. <laughs> and then the one before that was Orlando. So I think it's time to bring it back to Orlando. Um, but yeah, so I, as of this recording, it was last weekend, I went to Megacon Orlando, and I mainly went for one thing, (laughs) or should I say some, like, one, uh, so back in February, I think it was the middle of February, uh, I saw on Twitter that... Hayden Christensen was coming to Megacon this year. I almost had a heart attack. And I was like, okay, um, I'm going to regret not going if I, dec- if I decide not to. So the very next day, it was pretty a pretty quick decision. I was like, okay, I'm buying a photo op. I'm doing it. It has to happen. Uh, cause this is the love of my life, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, Anakin, I need, I was like, I need to meet him. Um, so I bought the photo op, uh, decided not to do an autograph. I'll probably do an autograph in the future. Um, but I was like, I want a photo. So I got the, bought the photo op. It was about... After taxes and everything, fees, whatever, I don't know, about 220 and that was with buying the JPEG for it. So I got that because it did, it wasn't included. The only thing that was included was a printed off photo. Okay. So you had to buy the JPEG separately. I was like, well, of course I'm going to need that. It was only $10, so it wasn't that bad of a deal, and I'm already spending how much money for this photo op um but i was like you know what to meet the love of my life i don't care how much i'm spending it's fine so i think total not including the stuff i bought at the convention i think it was with parking the ticket to get into the convention and then my photo op it was around 300 okay um so And it was also apparently the most expensive photo op there, so really went straight to it. Um. I know that for the Chicago one, which was the same weekend, I looked up because one of the star guests for the Chicago one was Chris Evans, and oh yeah, I I've been I've been seeing even though the other star guest was a lot cheaper, and I'm like, oh, I would have done that if I was there. Wait, which one? Uh, the actor that played Namor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, so, so, leading up 
to the convention. I'm going to be talking about like my whole day at the convention, what went down, yada, yada, yada. But leading up to the convention, um, I watched, I went through Hayden Christensen's filmography. Oh my gosh. I was like, I feel like I've only seen seen him in Star Wars as Anakin Skywalker, the chosen one. And of course, well, I mean, I guess technically he was in three Star Wars movies, if you want to count the voice cameo in Rise of Skywalker. What's interesting about that, that was about a year before they announced that he was actually coming back as Anakin, so... In Obi Wan Kenobi, yeah, and then he's also in Obi Wan Kenobi, um, as Darth Vader this time. Um, so anyway, I was watching his filmography. Uh, I started off with Little Italy, <laughs> which, if you know that movie, it is. Um, it's something. It's starring Hayden Christensen, of course, and Emma Roberts. Um, it's basically about, it's Romeo and Juliet, but set in Little Italy in Canada. I don't know why it's Canada's Little Italy. Um, I mean, Hayden is from Canada, but I don't know. Um, so I watched that one. Very interesting. Um, I know mom was watching it too because even before I bought the photo op, she was like, you need to watch Little Italy because Hayden's in it. She's been doing this for like a year. So I finally sat down and watched it because I was like, you know what? I, I got to watch his filmography. And then the next one after that, which I think actually was my favorite, was Awake. It's a movie from 2007, I think. It's starring Hayden, of course, and Jessica Alba. Um, and essentially, he's like a billionaire that has a heart condition and he has to go into surgery. But then there's like this whole plot about the doctor and his team wants to kill him. I was like, that's an interesting premise. Um, and then it was uh, there was twists and stuff. So I think that was my favorite, other than Star Wars, of course. Um, And then, oh, mom was like, oh, this one's leaving HBO or something. I can't remember. I think it was like American Heist or something. I cannot remember. Not my typical, not the typical film I would watch, but I watched it because Hayden's in it. Um, And then, oh, Jumper. I watched that one, um, which, that's actually the movie where he met, oh god, what's her name? What's her name? His ex's name, what's, what's her name? Okay, now I need to look this up, anyway, um... (laughs) I was like, I watched this movie. Anyway, it was supposed to be the start of a franchise. Samuel L. Jackson is also in it. So that was kind of like a reunion for them. Um, Even though we all know I do not like Mace Windu. Whatever. Oh, Rachel um, Bilson. Bilson? Okay. Her. That's where they met. So... I watched that one. Um, I think that's all the movies I watched. I know it's not his whole filmography. Again, he doesn't have that long of a list. And most people know him from Star Wars. So, um, But I watched a couple of his movies leading up to this event. Monumentous event. Monumental. Monumentous? I don't think is a word. Monumental, I know is a word though. So, um, so now that's out of the way. Let's get into the actual convention. So, um, I woke up pretty early because one, I wanted to look good in this photo. So, I'm sorry. 
I paid over $200 for this photo. <laughs> I know Hayden's going to look good, but I want to make sure I don't look like a troll. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, okay? That w- Honestly, that was what I was most worried about, was <laughs> looking awful. Because I was like, Jesus, Chris, I'm spending this much money. I want to look good. Yeah. You know, and I don't know if I'll have this opportunity again to get a photo with him. So I want to look good. Okay, so I woke up early, like at 530. Oh, um, to get ready. I left my apartment around 720 uh, to get to MegaCon because parking opened at 8. And I was like, well, I want to get there around 8. Um, just so there it wasn't as many people which when i did get to parking there was a lot of people because i was parked in the par- one of the parking lots where you had to take a shuttle to it to the actual venue which you know this but it was parked right next to where epic universe is going to be yeah did i send you photos i can't remember no you didn't no i didn't well i saw the dueling coaster with the two tracks. No, yeah, that's supposed to be in the main hub area. That's like the one of the only rides in that area. But that's probably yeah. what you saw because it's the tallest ride, I think. Yeah, so that's where I was parked, and they had shuttles, and I think it took like twenty minutes to get on the shuttles. Which, it, uh, like, my photo op wasn't until two. Which honestly, it actually was not a two. We'll get into that later, but. I wasn't really in a rush. I just wanted, I was just worried that something was going to go wrong. Like one of my tickets was going to go wrong. Mm. I don't know. Um, So I wanted to get there early because also I was reading that last year parking was terrible. It took three hours for people to find parking. But this year I think it went a lot smoother because they had prepaid parking, which is what I did. (laughs) Because my anxiety was like, no, you need to buy this parking so I know what I'm doing. So I bought prepaid parking, got in the shuttles. I think I got to the venue um, close to nine. Okay. And it was pretty smooth going, um, getting in, getting my ticket. Um, You had to, once you got your badge, you had to activate it, um, which luckily the internet was not awful at that point. So I could actually activate it. And then they lined you up because they... It wasn't open yet because it opened at 10. I was lined up around like 9, 15, 9, 20. And they actually opened it up early. They opened it, opened it, opened uh, around 9.30. So about 30 minutes early, which I appreciated because I wanted to walk the show room floor and look around, look at Artist Alley, see if there's anything I want before the crowds came because oh my oh, god yeah. I remember oh celebration. my god crazy yeah oh my god after my photo op i went back on the showroom floor and jesus christ was it packed it was like sardines <laughs> like it took well, it, me of the it took Pop probably ra- like it if you went from one side of the showroom floor to the other it probably took you 30 minutes just to walk try to walk straight because it was so packed um i think i heard about 150,000 people were there that day (gasps) because i went on a saturday i do not recommend going on a saturday unless if the person you want to meet is there only on saturday which hayden was only there on saturday so i didn't really have a choice (laughs) but i would not because i heard Thursday, Friday, and even Sunday was not as bad as yeah, Saturday. I had, Saturday uh, was... I had Friday and oh. Sunday for celebration. Yeah, Saturday was just rough. Um, so, I'm happy they opened it about 30 minutes early. So, I walked around, and there was this really cool Star Wars area. Um, it kind of looked like a Tatooine set, and there were a couple characters there uh the emperor was there that old raisin crusty <laughs> old raisin was there Alpudine? yeah i don't care um <laughs> there were a ton of mandalorians there i think sabine Ready? was there uh mando was of course and was there 
Grogu was there, of course. Why wouldn't he be? Oh, the armorer. Um, oh, I'm trying to. Like, I feel like the armorer memory. doesn't get talked about. Yeah, well, they had this whole section for the Mandalorians, so kind of makes made sense. Um, there were some Tus Tuscan raid raiders. Um, and then I walked where the autographed autograph area was just to, like check it out um there was again since they opened it early there were no celebrities out uh but then i walked to artist alley uh which was really cool there was some pretty neat stuff there and that's where i bought most of the stuff um which i can't say one of the items yeah that was because it's i got it for you and i wanted to be a surprise yeah um, i don't mind that if it's if that it's a surprise yeah uh i mean mom and dad know it so uh because i showed i i texted a picture to mom and i also have showed my friends because i was like these these this is so cool and i honestly i'm happy that i went there early because uh the artist there said that they were probably going to sell out that day so i'm happy i went there the first thing being a vendor there must have been absolutely crazy yes i i can't imagine the amount of stuff you have to have before the whole thing even starts yeah i know like how would you know how much you need yeah i don't even know but anyway so the first panel i wanted to go to wasn't until 11 so i had some time to check out stuff um so around 10 30 i went up because the showroom floor is in the middle and then there's like a south concourse and a north concourse and i was mainly in the north i didn't go to the south at all um so i went to the north side uh which is where the first panel i wanted to go to was which was with jody benson who if you don't know is the voice of princess ariel i like totally I was like, missed that, that that was ariel until you sent me the video i'm like oh <laughs> i've heard the name how don't but you I know can't connect it. So yeah, uh, I went there around 10.30. The panel was at 11. And so they were just having us line up. And there were a ton of people there dressed up as Ariel. Not a shocker. Not a shocker. I cannot talk today. Um, so I was just chilling. Um, this whole day, leading up to the photo op, I was having like a panic attack this entire day. And I was like, I mm, it, this doesn't feel real. Um it's not real uh so i went to the jody benson panel and she was talking about ariel and the little mermaid it was so cute what because because live action little mermaid is coming out i would find it interesting because if they have a new like end credit song if jody benson sings it because how oh no (laughs) for the live action beauty and the beast (laughs) um slain yeah i get uh, yeah um i made the joke a couple weeks ago on twitter you know how ashley tisdale did a cover of kiss the girl yeah i was like that should be the end credit song <laughs> they should play that at the end credits i think they play that during like the um, music montage while you're waiting for phantasmic yes it's a part of that disney mania montage when you're waiting for phantasmic at hollywood studios oh i saw no off topic but i saw someone say one has one stays and one goes and it was like you have to pick between phantasmic and happily ever after oh i saw that which which one would you choose i don't know uh, see <sighs> this is tough if you do it between two fireworks sure that makes sense but they're not even completely the same thing yeah they're not the same because one is a show and one is a firework show um and these are like two of my all-time favorites so that's tough uh, a lot of people were saying keep Fantasmic. Um, I don't know what I would choose. I might, I honestly. Uh, I'm going to say Happily Ever After. Mm-hmm. I would keep. Mainly because it has Go the Distance in it. Um, <laughs> which is my favorite Disney song of all time. The way they use it is actually pretty good. Oh. oh happily ever after i i was i was at the first showing 
since it's come back. Um, so that was special. Okay, so back to Jodi Benson. <laughs> um, at the end of her panel, um, which made me tear up, uh, she sang Part of Your World for us. And she said, uh, you can film it, but you can't put it on the internet. Otherwise, Disney will get mad. So I can't really share that with anyone except close family and friends, um, which I have been because I'm like, guys, guys, a Disney princess sang to me, which Part of Your World, another one of my favorite Disney songs. And surprisingly, even though it's like the one of the more famous songs from the movie, did not win awards a lot because that's not the mo- song they chose to push. Yeah, didn't Under the Sea win? Yeah, the best I think it Under song? the Sea. I think it was Under the Sea, Kiss the Girl, and then A Part of Your World, but they really pushed mm-hmm. Under the Sea. Mm-hmm. And honestly, Part of Your World was the beginning of I Want Songs. Yeah. From Disney. Um, but yeah, so she sang Part of Your World. I will cherish that. And I was tearing up, okay? Don't. I know dad was like, why were you tearing up? <gasps> because. Because. Why? Who wouldn't? Um, so I will always cherish that. So that was the Jody Munson panel. And then the next one, which was in the exact same room, which I couldn't stay because only VIP people could stay, which, yeah, I get it. They paid a lot more, so. But I just went back to where you line up and honestly there weren't that many people so the next panel was actually star wars related and it was hold on let me get the full name because i feel like if i don't someone will just come at me um but this actress was in obi-wan kenobi which i thought was very fitting for who i was meeting that day um uh, Vivian Lyra Blair. She played uh, little Leia in the show. I still remember watching Obi Wan, where it's like we only saw Lu- like Luke, and then like Leia shows up, and it's like what? It's like Leia. I know. I remember watching that first episode when it premiered, and I was like, what? oh my god, it's Leia, because you didn't see. Well, I mean, you you saw her at Star Wars Celebration, and you might have been like, oh, she'll have like. A little bit of time in the show. No, she's a main part. And don't get and me wrong, I am not complaining. Luke, more surprising. than Luke. Which, I mean, I appreciate because she is amazing as Leia. Carrie would be very proud. Um, but yeah, so I went to her panel. And she is adorable. She's adorable. I got some pictures of her. I was in the third row, so I wasn't wow. very far wow i mean it wasn't that packed it wasn't like the daredevil one which i actually did not go to um i'm surprised they're doing panels because in fact they're actually filming the i know i was like they were literally literally filming the day before megacon it's like i was like how are you anyway but any uh yeah so i went to vivian's panel she is adorable um i was having a great time listening to her talk about working on the obi-wan show and then when she name dropped ewan and hayden i almost had a panic attack which if you've been on the internet this past week you probably saw that video of vivian reuniting with hayden and the funny thing is she talked about that in the panel and i was like oh my god hayden is in the building i'm gonna throw up oh but I thought it was so cool how she talked about that. And then that video Came out. was circulating online. I know mom sent it to me. I was like, shut up. She literally talked about that in the panel. I think, because I think they were doing stuff today and for Star Wars Celebration because it's, go- it's going on. I think Hayden, like there's like a little stage like in the uh, main show area. And like they have st- people come out on it. And I th- think that when Hayden came out either yesterday or today he actually started tearing up yep it was like ah stop (laughs) I'm gonna tear up 
because he deserves all the love um so yeah uh vivian spano was really cute uh she talked about how much she loves droids um her favorite droid she said was r4 dt i think it was um which it had like one scene when they were on um uh, what's the name of the planet where they first where obi-wan first goes to get leia back it, it's like the one that's based off of tokyo you know which one i'm talking about yeah i know what it, i know what yeah I'm, what's the... that planet which the droid is there and then she fell in love with this droid and they weren't gonna use it for the rest of the show except she's like no if the droid isn't in it, I'm not in it. Oh, my. And I was like, girl, me too. So then the droid shows up um, throughout the rest of the show because <laughs> she wanted it to. And then she also celebrated her birthday on set, and that was the droid that gave her her birthday cake, oh which gosh. I thought that was so cute. I'm like, she's just like me. <laughs> if K2SO could give me a birthday cake, Oh, yeah, I'd be the happiest are, girl in the world. How are they introducing world. K2SO and Andor? Girl, I don't know. Was I at the Andor panel at Celebration? No. Do you think I would know? No. Well, <laughs> but I will cry. I think I knew that K2SO was playing, was going to be in Andor like four years ago. Mm-hmm. I don't think they actually said it was an Andor show. He just said he was coming back. I don't mm-hmm. exactly remember because it wasn't an official panel. Yeah. Where that was said. Yeah, so her Vivian's panel was really cute. Um, and of course, when she was talking about Ewan and Hayden, which she said the first time she met Hayden was when they were filming the flashback scene with obi-wan and anakin which actually we found out today that was the first thing they filmed that's so interesting for obi-wan kenobi which makes sense because that's when vivian first met hayden um so yeah when she name dropped hayden i was like oh god he is in the building it's gonna happen i i'm gonna throw up like I'm getting butterflies just now thinking about. Mm-hmm. Um, so yes, that was Vivian's panel, and then after that, I kind of stayed in the north side, the north concourse, because my photo op was an hour later, or it should have been an hour later. Was it? No. Um. So I stayed in that portion, and they said don't get to the area until like 15 minutes beforehand i'm sorry my anxiety says no i need to get there way before that (laughs) so i wasn't i was kind of in the area but i was mm, like to the side where there was no one Mm -hmm. and i just like sat down and chilled and also i was sitting over there because i was like how is this working because there's a ton of lines and i'm like what are these lines i know it's for the photo op clearly because there are multiple padmes and multiple anakins okay i know it's for the photo op but i was like how is this working and so i was group 10 for two o'clock um and so they were i think when i got there they were calling group seven or something i was like okay okay and then they kept calling groups um and then it was around two o'clock which is when my photo op should have been when they called group 10 and so when they called your group you went behind a person and there were four lines each line was a group and so i went in group 10's line and i was towards the front of it because i was waiting in the area like ready to go the second they called group 10 because i was freaking out i was like this isn't real i uh, I still don't believe it happened. <laughs> um, like, yeah. So I was waiting in group 10. And this whole time, I'm like um, using my phone to check myself to make sure, okay, I, I look decent. 
So hopefully I look decent in this photo. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, um, and so I got in that line around 2 o'clock. Our line didn't move until an hour later. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just sitting there freaking out. There were people That's... in line behind me that missed their Charlie Cox photo op because it That's... was taking so long. Which hopefully they got their photo. That's um, sad. I, I think they could because they talked to someone because... I am pretty sure they just like oversold Hayden's photo op because we were so behind. Which Yeah, that's most likely. Mm-hmm. Which I was fine. I was like, this is the one thing I was here for today, so it wasn't like I had any other photo ops I needed to make. Yeah, there wasn't anything to. else. Yeah, don't yeah. worry about making yeah. yeah, so I'm happy I didn't do any other photo ops. Um so so around, I would say about 3 o'clock. Uh, yeah, it was a little after 3, I remember, because... Mm, fun fact. So a little after 3, we start hearing children screaming at the top of their lungs. <laughs> and all of us sitting there are like, mm, it's probably because the family zone is right there, like where children and families can hang out. And I was like, hmm... Yeah, it's probably just because of that. No, it's because there is a screaming child <laughs> contest going on. And when our group was called and we went into the photo op room, it was in the same exact room as the photo op. Who thought that was a good idea? Don't ask me. Who thought that was the best idea? Okay, of course I made the joke that it was Anakin um, killing the younglings. Uh, people in line thought that was funny. So, <laughs> But I was like, well, that doesn't help my anxiety right now. There's children screaming. Oh, if they came out of nowhere, <laughs> I would have been done for. But I was there. like, what the heck is happening? And I, we didn't realize it was in the same exact room until like two minutes before we met him. <gasps> and I was like, what the heck? The... Mm, so yeah i was like this is the worst i was like you know what it's fine but what oh my gosh yeah um because it was in the same exact room except there was like um like you know how in conventions or like convention centers i don't know like it'll be the same room but then they'll have like a dividing wall that they can pull out it was essentially that. And so the photo op was on one side. The screaming child contest was on the other. So you could, you can hear the screaming children. Okay. Jeez. Um, so when I got into the room, you're in this line. And that's where they scan your QR code. Which I understand why they did it there. Because if they scanned it before you went into the room, people could sneak in. Yeah. You know, into the line, even if they didn't buy a photo op. Um, but it also worried me. I was like, well, hopefully my QR code works. Because if it doesn't, I'm right here. Um, So, I get that. And then also, um, I had a bag. And I appreciate that they had two tables where you could put anything you didn't want in the photo. Okay. Which I appreciated because I was like, where the heck is my bag going? I don't want that in my photo. Um... So after they ski- scanned, oh, I cannot talk today, uh, scanned your QR code, you went to the tables and you just put anything down, which the only thing I had was my bag. So, um, and there was a person there that was making sure you got your stuff back. And then after that, then you went, it's the same line, but like s- separated um, for the photo op and so he was behind, I would describe it as a curtain, a very thin curtain. Um, and you were in line and you went in and you were still in line behind the curtain. So everyone saw you do this photo op. <laughs> my my anxiety was like, no. So you're just watching him with 
everyone and you're like oh god it's happening um which so uh when i got in that line the person that was working there uh complimented my spirit jersey because i was dressed up i I was essentially disney bounding as padme i guess you can say because i had my naboo spirit jersey which is the same colors as her lake dress which is just perfection i love that outfit and then i had a purple skirt on and then i had really sparkly leggings which everyone was loving and then i had my combat boots but because I was like, I'm meeting Anakin. I have to dress up as Padme, okay? Um, but I didn't go full cosplay. I just went, like, cute. Padme. I guess. So anyway, uh, you're in this line, and he's there, and you're like, oh, okay. He's real. <laughs> he's real? Okay. <laughs> you're like, oh, my God. Okay, and up until this point, I didn't really know what pose I was going to do I was like um I literally up until that point I just thought I was going to do a normal photo which I I still did a normal photo but I'll, I'll explain it later um I just thought I was you know like a kind of a I don't know how to explain like you know like in a family photo you're all just like standing side to side yeah kind of like that you know and then right when I saw him I was like nah forget that we're gonna do a hug and so from that point on I was like well hopefully he'll let me do a hug so that was the only thing on my mind I was like okay well hopefully he does a hug because otherwise I'll feel bad and I'll feel stupid that I asked (laughs) so um i'm in this line and oh my god um the person that is like kind of in charge of this last line before you meet him was stressing me out because so when the person in front of me was doing 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 again i can't talk doing their photo op he looked at me and was like okay the second the camera flashes you need to go up because they were trying to like get through people really fast yeah they probably which which i i understand why you need to get through the photo op but also you're stressing me out the screaming children in the background isn't helping (laughs) yeah i was like this i'm about to i don't know how i did not pass out (laughs) or throw up or anything because i was like this is the most anxious i have ever been in my life um and so when he said that i was like well i didn't say this out loud but i was thinking i was like well the person in front of me is still with him i'm not gonna just barge in i get you need to get through people but i'm not gonna barge in barge in so i waited until the person started leaving until i walked up and from this moment until after i blacked out (laughs) i don't remember it (laughs) like i remember snips and pieces snips ha funny but i (laughs) i blacked out (laughs) okay so i walk up there and i'm like hi he shakes my hand and you're like uh I'm like, huh? (laughs) Okay, so I didn't hear this. Um, but he asked, How are you? (laughs) I didn't hear it. And so since I didn't hear it, I didn't respond. Oh no. (laughs) Um, so Hayden was probably like, this girl is just rude. (laughs) um i didn't okay okay hold on hayden i would like to formally apologize uh that i didn't answer your question how are you because (laughs) i essentially blacked out and don't remember much after hi (laughs) 
<laughs> and you shaking my hand. Um, because like I said, the second I realized I wanted to do a hug, that was the only thing I was focused on. And so I went, hi, he's shaking my hand. He asked, how are you? And I respond with, can we do like a hug sort of pose? Oh, no. I didn't answer the question. I'm sorry, Hayden. Um, I promise mm-hmm. I'm nice. I just blocked out. You know, the screaming children in the background was not helping. Um and I was afraid the person that was, like, in charge of the line was going to yell at me if I took too long, which, you know. Um, and so, so after I was like, can we do, like, a hug sort of pose? He was like, sure. And it, mm. Yeah. Um, so, we do that. And we're posing for the picture. I hear someone... I don't know who it was, but someone in line goes, aw. So I had a lot of validation <laughs> there. Um, whoever that person is, thank you very much. You're the real one, okay? Um, and then after the picture was taken, I turned to him and I'm like, may the force be with you. And then he responds, may the force be with you. <laughs> so I win. <laughs> because I, um, yeah. I, Anakin told me, may the force be with you. So, you know, I win in that situation. And that's always going to be in my head. Um, And then I walked out and got my bag. And then you had to line up to wait for your photo. And it was so funny. More waiting. Huh? More waiting. More waiting. (laughs) That's just the whole day, waiting. Um, So I was having a little chit chat with the girls before we met him and then after we were all like decompressing about what the heck just happened <laughs> while we're waiting for our photos and then the second my photo got printed and they put it on the table i just remembered my jaw drop into the floor <laughs> i was like oh my god <laughs> let me just tell you so i again i asked for a hug Um, I honestly, I just remember myself doing a hug. I don't remember him doing a hug. (laughs) But his arms are around me. Do I remember that? No, because remember, I blocked out. (laughs) I'm sorry, but the only thing I remember is like my hands on his stomach. I know it sounds weird, but that's literally the only only thing i remember um other than may the force be with you and hi um but when i saw that photo i was like oh my god stop it it's literally the cutest photo ever it's the cutest photo ever and honestly i was just really happy i don't look like a troll and i look decent (laughs) um next to this handsome person okay Um, next to Anakin Skywalker. I don't look like a troll. And I appreciate that. So, then of course I had to text everyone this photo. I was like, oh my god. (laughs) It happened. (laughs) This whole thing happened? No, I didn't. So, I mean, uh, so I was with him for like maybe 20 seconds. Yeah. It probably could have been longer if I answered, how are you? Um, but of course, Katie blacked out. <laughs> and Katie does not remember much. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute photo. Um, and I did, I, <laughs> so a couple weeks before Megacon happened, mom, like, mom has been going through old, old photos just to, like, catalog them. And somehow, she found this one from 2006, where I'm holding up a DVD of Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> and I'm like, what are the odds? That's, that's literally that you me found this. with a boat. Fo- I'm not sure what version it is, but I'm holding up a 
It's one of us holding up a copy of like the CD of Monsters Inc. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I, I, I think it was me because I said I, I guess I've actually loved this movie since I was not even walking. So, I was like, what are the odds that you found this? Huh. <laughs> so I made a video, and it's to One Direction's Night Changes. And so oh, that's the a good first song did too. What? That's a good song. Did you? Yeah. So that? the first part is the photo from when I was, I was six at the time, um, with Revenge of the Sith, and it said, and the song goes, "Does it ever, <laughs> does it ever drive you crazy?" And then it switched to, switches to my photo with Hayden, just how fast the night changes. Because <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> six-year-old katie would not have imagined that in about 16 years that i would be meeting hayden christensen yeah so um so question for you okay who do you think i would like which person do you think that i would be for that like which person would i say i'd like for a photo op like how excited, like how excited, how excited you I was. Yeah. See, I just think uh, Sebastian Stan. Sebastian Stan or Anthony Mackie, personally, because yeah. I've yeah, because they literally, those two pretty much, their characters now, were both introduced in my favorite MCU movie, so it's just coincidental. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, definitely one of them um but so yeah so i still can't believe i met hayden christensen um i know i'm the only prequels stan in the family it might be because i was literally born with the prequels like my due date was the day phantom menace premiered <laughs> i wasn't born until a week later but why did I just? Why do I just find out the randomest facts out of nowhere? <laughs> but literally, I was born with the prequels, so those are my movies. Um, you're the sequels fan. Oh, which I know you're excited about that Ray movie. I'm just surprised because some of the the video, like they were talking to the director, and like I'm not sure what the conversation was, but I think it was like. They were talking about the character and stuff, and they kind of got the emotion of bringing the character out, and no one knew it was going to be Daisy Ridley walking out on stage. So, like, people were like, whoa. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Um, so. That was essentially the end of my day at MegaCon. I went back to the showroom floor to buy a couple things, which I actually um, bought this really cute artwork um, that's based off of the Revenge of the Sith movie poster, but it's cats. That's so cute. And I was like, that was made for me. That was made for me. So I had to buy it. I was like, well, I met Hay Hayden Christensen today, so I have to do this. Um, so, yeah, so that was essentially the end of my day, um, at Megacon Orlando, where I met Hayden Christensen, um, and honestly, with all the stuff that has been coming out of Star Wars Celebration this weekend, where people are just praising Hayden, which he deserves, he didn't deserve any of the hate, okay? Also, he was um, like pretty young when all that happened yeah he was like my age now he was yeah around was our ages early, yeah he was in his early 20s Jeez. when he was in star wars yeah mm. so i mean i mean him hayden ahmed best who oh, I'm just, I'm so who, happy for him. Yeah, Claren Beck, 
saved Grogu from Order 66. Um, Ray now. Alert. Okay, well, that one. I'm sorry. But, um... Um, Ray now that's getting I, her own peop- movie. People hoping that John Boyega gets a, would come back. Oh yeah, because yeah. they really did Finn bad. I know. I know th- it, it would be so. Cool I think they that. Finn, especially wa- since she's gonna have her own like Jedi Order. Mm-hmm. I think it would make sense. He's a Jedi. <laughs> I think Finn was He's strong in the Force. Yeah, stop it. I think Finn was supposed to have like a like. It seems like Finn was supposed to have a bigger storyline and be a bigger part of the sequels. And then in Last Jedi, he's just in a coma for, like, a good portion of the movie. And he has, like, the mm-hmm. side quest, and it's like, what? So I think yeah. I think they really played into the... Unfortunately, the hate that was out there when Force Awakens came out and stuff and they didn't have him much in last jedi Mm -hmm. yeah but i i don't know star wars fans are scary i say this as a star wars fan yeah but the hate that some of these actors are getting oh i think the it's just uncalled for i think most of the actors that came out to get a good reception it's i think the one actress from obi-wan who played like an inquisitor or something oh got a good uh, reception Moses ingram yeah and it, another oh, yeah. person the hate from she got for no goddamn reason another like, person i think another sh- person from acolyte or something got a good reception too and they were wearing like a like their outfit when they came out i think are we talking about amanda yeah yeah her padme cosplay yeah that was oh cool. she looks so good um but yeah, like now that Hayden's getting all this love um, that he deserves. I mean, anyone in Star Wars doesn't deserve hate, but you know how Star Wars fans are. <sighs> Honestly, it's just the fandom menace, those people um, that I never want to be associated with that just come at anything they don't like. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry. Like, they have a specific way to think Star Wars should be. Yes. Yeah, and I'm sorry. Star Wars was made for kids, so that's that. Like, Also, people hate on people who really love Star Wars, and it's like, it's don't hate. If it makes someone happy, don't hate on it. And that's the same thing yeah. that why people... That's the thing with, like, the whole Disney adult thing. It's like, it just makes them ha- people happy. Are Why they hurting anyone? No. And also, like, it may just be, like, if they had a rough life, like, that may be the one thing that they could enjoy. Or, like, the one thing that makes yeah. them just happy. Yeah, so I just... Mm. Anyway. A <laughs> little side tangent um but since i was talking about meeting hayden christensen i thought i would bring up like how much love he's getting yeah um which he deserves he's amazing as anakin he's just honestly he did the best with what he was given um and him and everyone else in star wars doesn't deserve any hate no yeah just because it's not what people want or they don't think that way it's like okay well you're not creating the story so and also not every story in star wars was made for you yeah you know um but yeah uh that was my experience meeting hayden christensen at megacon 2023 I still can't believe that happened. It's not real. It didn't happen. I'll look at my lock screen on my phone and be like, nope, that didn't happen. It's your lock screen now? Yes, it's my lock screen. Why wouldn't I make it my lock screen? I don't know. Okay, well, my lock screen before was 
Hayden Christensen, <laughs> so I'll just change it to a different Hayden Christensen oh photo. God. But I'm in it this time. Um. So yeah. Um. Maybe I'll meet him again and get an autograph so I can have talk to him actually. <laughs> And not just kind of blow him off because I blacked out. Um, but yeah, that... Mm, I'm just... I'm happy that the photo came out pretty well. Um, so. Yep, that was... That was Megacon. And cool. Hayden Christensen. Cool, cool, cool. I don't cool. know what to say. Cool. cool, that was great. Cool, cool. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, I just kind of wanted to talk about it because it was my first convention ever. Yeah, I do. Hopefully with... not my last. <laughs> what if um, we do a Star Wars celebration together? That would be funny. Oh, my God. No, we, we will be going. We have to manifest it. We're going to Star Wars celebration. We're going to the next Star Wars celebration in 2025. We will be going when they're showing all the trailers for the new Star Wars movies. We'll yeah. be there. We'll be at those panels, okay? <laughs> you gotta manifest it. <laughs> I think I went to like one panel at the 2019 one. Yeah, the Mandalorian one. No. Well, oh. I went to that one because I was a lottery, but I won- one that you could, like, everyone could go to, I went to. Which one was that? It was, I think, the visual effects supervisor for mm. Solo. And I appreciate that movie more knowing like the stuff that went into it and i actually yeah. have a, the person talked about how like they took photos and stuff while they were making the movie it's like a type of not like a art of book but it's them taking photos but they explained that one part of the movie they took inspiration from the slow-mo guys on youtube and i'm like that's awesome that's pretty cool but yes we we we're putting it, I'm at least putting it out into the universe. I hope you are too, that we will be going to the next Star Wars celebration in 2025, no matter where it is. Hopefully it's Orlando. Hopefully it's in the U.S. at least. <laughs> Hopefully it's in the U.S. That'll make it a little <laughs> bit easier. Yeah. Like, if, even if it's in, like, Texas. I don't know why Texas, but, like, if it's in the U.S., at least it's a little bit easier to get to. Yeah. Than London, although I would love to go to London one day. hee, <laughs> hee. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know you've been, okay? Okay, no, I, I haven't. haven't been yet. I thought you that. went to London. No, not yet. Anyway. Next year. Next year, okay. I thought you went. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, you're going before me anyway. <laughs> I'm hoping so, Disney's, like, expeditions there. No, we're going to go to Celebration one day. The next Celebration. It's happening. So that was our episode talking about Megacon and my experience meeting Hayden Christensen. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, make sure to. <laughs> you cannot finish. I'm drawing a blank. Um, make sure to share it with anyone you think would like this episode. Also, you can check us out on basically all social media platforms as film to screen and until next time see you at the movies or the next convention maybe star wars celebration 2025 (laughs) it's gonna happen